Hi, this is Hilly Zavaro. Today I want to show you how to create digital jigsaw puzzles for the beginning of the lesson perhaps or for any need you may have in order to engage students and make them complete puzzles perhaps related to your lesson. So we want to go to jigsawplanet.com. As we enter, we don't have to sign up. We can just choose puzzles that already exist on the uh, website. For example, if I have a lesson about animals, perhaps I can find some animals here and just take the puzzle and use it. We don't want to choose something too complicated. We want something very simple. So about 15 um, or 24 uh, pieces should be enough. This indicates the number of pieces of puzzles. 16, 15, 63, 20. Let's say um, we want to take something that won't take students too long. We can continue searching page two. This is nice, but it's too many pieces. Perhaps I'll take this one. This one is cute. And perhaps my lesson is about farm animals. It should look like this. So let's say I want to bring this to students. How do I do this? Um, before I go there, I want to show you that there are different types of puzzles. There's this one, it looks like this. This is the regular one. We want to keep it simple. So we want to keep the regular pieces, not those that look like this, those that look like this. This one looks nice. So let's say I want to send this to my students. It looks like this. Um, so simply what I do is I copy this address. Notice that I can just send this address to students. If I go to a brand new page and I, and I insert the address on the address bar, in the address bar, I click enter, uh, I'll be directed, um, uh, I'll be uh, directed to the puzzle. So just copy the address and that's it. You can send this to students. You can place it in your PowerPoint, in your Zings, in your Nearpod, any way you want. If you have a special picture and you want a jigsaw puzzle with a special picture that you have, note that it's going to be public. So don't publish, you know, your your own pictures. So let's click on sign in or sign up if it's your first time. Then you'll be able to create your own puzzle. Once you click sign up, you need to fill in the information and quickly you sign up. Then you sign in and you're in. So in order to upload your own picture, you click create. Then you choose an image from your computer. Assuming, let's say this is a lesson about space, so I'm going to choose a picture about space. Then I'm going to give it a name. Space. I'm going to leave it easy, 35 pieces or even 24, and I'm going, to I'm going to choose the regular shape. I'm not going to change the shape. I'm not going to tick the box for rotation because that would make, um, uh, the, that would mean that students need to rotate the pieces in order to complete the puzzle. I don't want to do that. It's too complicated. And I can also place this in an album. So here, usually for the first time, you'll be requested to create an album. And of course, you can give it a name on a tag so people can find your puzzle. Then you click create. Okay, my puzzle is ready and I can send it to students again using the link. Copy and then I'm going to paste it um, when I give a task to students. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye-bye.